Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm giving my final update on where I'm at with the project. Another update. It's been a week since I've started recording and I'm finally at the finishing up stage of mastering and doing some speaker tests. This is when I'm going to listen to all the tracks through various different uh, speakers such as my studio monitors, my phone, my headphones, my surround system in the living room and also I'm going to venture out into no man's land where my car sits neglected in the middle of an apocalypse to test the, all the tracks on the speakers in my car. Then I'm going to uh, work on the artwork for the project. So that being said, I am now going to reveal to you whose beats I've used. The beats that I've used were produced by a very good friend of mine, Fernie Mac. The reason why I've used these beats and the reason why I've been hyping up this project is because I really value Fernie as an artist, as a, as a producer, as an individual and as just an amazing friend. Like I've known Fernie since about 2013, 2014 and from our first initial meet like he had such an inspirational and a motivational impact on me getting to where I am today and in terms of like my mindset, my confidence, my growth as an artist, my growth as a producer and even as a person. The reason why it had such an impact was because he was actually the first person to believe in me in regards to my music and he was the first person to get me on stage in front of a crowd. Even though I wasn't prepared or had anything freshly written, I managed to um, cipher an old verse whilst he beatboxed. Afterwards, uh, a few people came up to me and said that they really enjoyed it. There was a promoter there who asked me would I be able to perform at his surplus festival in July of that year. Um, but I didn't have enough material back then, so obviously I didn't jump on that opportunity quick enough. Anyway, without that happening, it never would have led me to a series of events of getting me to where I am today. I never would have met Sacred Daily, I never would have met Jake the Ripper, I never would have met um, Toasty before he passed away, rest in peace. Um, I never would have met uh, Dick Dastardly or D.W. Smith, who are now part of a band called Dirty Alex, T-Rev, Crazy the Jack, and many more amazing people who I've come to meet. So for that, I'm grateful, and to show my appreciation, I'm using Finny Max Beats for this project. And I don't think I would have created half of the material that I have today. So thanks dude for being the strongest connection in the music scene in Cardiff and for showing so much love to so many dope artists and getting everyone all together. I appreciate everything that you've done and I appreciate everything that you're doing. So when will this EP be out? I have no idea. So give this video a thumbs up, smash the subscribe button and hit that bell notification. And until next time, see ya!